G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today I just wanted to create a super quick video to address a bit of an issue that I've had a few people inquire with me over um, a few years actually. So it's a little bit late to the game but uh, hopefully it will be helpful all the same. Um, as you can see here we're in Premiere Pro and uh, we have um, five clips on a timeline and what you'll notice is that there's no work area bar. Now what the work area bar is normally used for is to select which part of the timeline you would like to export a video from. And basically what that means is you can have multiple clips, multiple projects, multiple edits all on the one timeline and you can specify which part of the timeline actually gets exported rather than just exporting all of it. Now, as you can see at the moment with uh, what I have up on the screen, you can't actually see that work area bar. So what we want to do is just pop over um, to the left hand top corner of the, uh, the timeline and you'll see there's three little horizontal bars there. If we just click on those, you can see that there's a work area bar option. Now, if I click on that, you can see that that gray work area bar appears. And as uh, has always been the case, you can simply click and drag the two blue ends and also the center of the work area bar to drag it to any part of the timeline to specify what area you would like to export out or render within the project. Now, if you didn't know that one, don't worry. I learned this from very personal experience, uh, very frustrating experience of not knowing why I couldn't see that work area bar and basically going through every menu trying to find where it was until I realized that that little uh, option there for the three horizontal bars exists and allows you to uh, specify that area. All right, so I hope that all makes sense. You can see, as I mentioned earlier, you can click and drag uh, those blue options to whatever section of the timeline you would like and of course whatever area of the timeline that that grey work area bar covers is what will be exported or rendered out uh, when you're ready to do so. Hope this has been helpful. It certainly was for me when I discovered it, so uh, always happy to pay it forward. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments below. Look forward to seeing you next time, and of course, as always, take care.